Hey, welcome to another episode of Showtime with Poop. And we are going to talk a little bit about uh, the Hall of Fame. I'm sorry to say that I did get in, denied, but you know what? I know eventually that's to be added to the list. It gives me a, a chance every year to get in there. That's the fact that I was even nominated to get to that level, to that stage of, of the voting uh, was really heartfelt. I mean, I felt, you know, my career was good, but it's always nice to know if that path that leads to the Hall of Fame doors. This year, I wasn't able to get in, but there's always next year. That's why I tell kids about basketball. There's always another game, and there's always another season to be played. And with the Hall of Fame, uh, again, not bashing on any of the ones, because I think anybody that gets in there is well-deserving. Uh, are your thoughts on it? So let me ask you first, how do you, how'd you find out that you didn't get in? Cause I, I obviously everybody knows you get the call if you get it. Do you get a call either way? How does that yeah, happen? You got a call either way. I got my call Wednesday. Uh, they were calling us everybody from 12, between 12 and, and, and uh, two uh, East coast time. And I get the call and it goes, uh, Hey, Michael Cooper, um, you know, unfortunately you didn't get enough votes uh, to be considered in the hall of fame. Uh, I'm sorry to tell you that, but uh, there's always next year. And you know what? I was I was hurt a little bit, sad. But how could you not yeah, be? It's okay to be. How could you not be? It's I mean, it's a it's a big deal. Yeah. To, I mean, as you mentioned, it's a big deal to be considered for it. But I mean, yeah. I mean, it, it got it's gonna hurt. Of course, if you don't get in, it's of course it's gonna. You know hurt. what? Right, I thought the, the the basketball gods had aligned everything. This is the year of 2021. I wore number 21. I just thought. I just felt. <laughs> You know what? Better late than never. And I'm just honored to be considered. But the other thing I'll say is, you know, look, I mean, I, I, I felt like this for you was not just about your playing days with Lakers, right? I mean, that that's part of it. But, you know, winning championships, coaching at, at, at the NBA as a player, as a coach for the WNBA with the Sparks. And then, of course, uh, in the, the D League. You know, I mean, that's that's a decorated career, both influencing the game as a player and as a coach. And the other thing I'll say, too, is, you know, a player of a player like you to to me, I cover Tim Duncan in the Spurs, and Tim was this great player of selflessness and 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 you know deferring his ego for the betterment of the team. I think that very much is it staples your career too, where you could have gone other places. We've talked about this and scored more points and been more of a focal point in offense, but the the willingness to to buy in to that team mentality. That's, you know, that was a part of the picture of why I thought, you know, you should get in and would get in. <laughs>